Reverse Nordic. So the Reverse Nordic is designed to be able to load the quads in a hip extended position. There's a lot, uh, because there's a lot of movements that we do that load the quad in a hip flexed position. Thinking of like squats, deadlifts, step ups, lunges, pretty much a lot of your lower body squat variations are gonna have a quad load with a hip flexed. This allows us to target one of the hip, uh, excuse me, one of the quad muscles that crosses the hip joint. So the idea here when you get set up is that your feet are gonna be plantar flexed, your toes are pointed away from you. You're gonna engage your glutes to take the arch out of your back. And then I like to cross my arms or we can scale it by holding on to something. You can give a band to a squat rack in each hand to kind of unweight you. And that band is gonna give you assistance. So the more tension the band is, the more it's gonna pull you back up. Or another way that we can do it is with a TRX strap. So by holding onto that TRX strap, you can use your arms to get back as deep as you can and then push yourself back out. Uh, I don't like to go to the upper extremity assistance like the TRX strap or a band at first because a lot of people will just over utilize the assistance and really pull themselves out of that bottom position. So what I would prefer is that you just simply start with a little baby motion and then come back out of it. Rock back a little bit and come back out of it. And a really common conversation pattern we see is people will let their hips stay forward and then they'll just shift their trunk back and they'll feel a big stretch to the front of their body and a lot of pressure in their low back. You gotta really engage your glutes and push your feet into the floor in a straight line from your shoulders to your knees, come back as far as you can, drive your, your legs to the floor to pull you back to that top position. Syncing up your breathing and bracing is important because it'll help reduce some of the arching in your back. So you're trying to fill your belly full of air, creating circumferential expansion. And I'm gonna hold that tension, come back as far as I can, blow my air out as I come back to that top position.